Hello my dear friends, welcome back into my another lecture. Hope you are all doing well. Today we will discuss the numerical of applied physics for triple esteem students. I have taken the question from a makeup paper, November, December 2023. Uh, the question is a particle of mass 0.5 mega electron volt has a kinetic energy 100 electron volt, right? Find it is de Broglie wavelength where C is the velocity of light. C, uh, you can see here this C square where C is the velocity, okay? So I have told you many times my dear friends physics can be passed uh, by theory only but uh, if you leave the numerical it may be the biggest mistake for the students okay I'm telling telling you people these are very simple num numericals only formula based you should only remember formulas okay or I think uh, you maybe have uh, the handbook in the examination as of my knowledge okay rest of the things you know very well better than me so let me solve this particular question it is simply a formula based as I mentioned so I can write down first of all the given data what is given mass so mass of particle how much 0 0.5 mega electron volt per C square okay next what is given kinetic energy is given so kinetic energy of particle I can write down 100 electron volt if I have to take in terms of joules usually we take in joules so I have to convert this 100 electron into joules first of all let me write down so 100 uh, electron means electron volt means 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 joules if you have to convert electron volt into joules you have to multiply with this particular constant number that is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules okay now what we have to calculate find it is de Broglie wavelength so wavelength is denoted by lambda so we have to calculate lambda okay so I can also write down this mass of particle mass of particle this is in mega electron volts I have to convert it into electron volts simply so 0 0.5 multiplied mega means 10 raised power 6 okay this becomes your electron volt per c square where this c is the velocity of light so I can write down mass m is equal to this 0 0.5 multiplied by 10 raised power 6 electron volt I have mentioned here if it if we have to convert these electron volts into joules so I have to multiply with this number 602 multiplied by 10 raised power minus 19 this becomes your joule per c square hope you are getting my points so m is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 10 raised power 6 okay into 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 divided by this is uh, c square in division so c uh, you know already uh, what is the value of velocity of light it is 3 into 10 power 8 raised power 2 okay once you calculate this much you will get m is equal to by calculating this much so let me first show you so see here 0 0.5 multiplied by 10 raised power 6 multiplied by 1.06 sorry 1.602 multiplied by 10 raised power minus 19 divided by 3 into 10 power 8 whole square which is equal to 8.9 into 10 power 31 8.9 into 10 power minus 31 so mass if it is so it is in terms of kgs right so mass value we are getting here now there is a formula which you have to remember I'm sure see here lambda is equal to h divided by under root of 2 me we have the formula okay for lambda de Broglie wavelength so what is the h value you should know it is a constant 6.63 into 10 power minus 34 divided by under root of 2 times mass what is the mass value 8.9 into 10 power minus 31 multiplied by e what is the e value that is kinetic energy it is already 100 into 100 multiplied by 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 so now you will get lambda is equal to if you calculate this much so 6.63 multiplied by 10 power minus 34 divided by under root of 2 times 8.9 multiplied by 10 power minus 31 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 1.602 10 power minus 19 which is equal to 1.24 so 1.24 into 10 power minus 10 meters is your de Broglie wavelength so only thing is uh, you need to be convert 
uh, the electron volts in joules and mega electron volts first in electron volts then in joules then divided by this uh, velocity of light okay 3 into 10 power 8 whole square then you will get mass value and you have to put down this value in this particular formula which is readily available lambda is equal to h by uh, under root of 2 me the rest of the thing is calculation which you can easily do in the scientific calculator calculator okay so this much is uh, the solution for this particular problem this may be the five marks or six marks problem in the video examination so i wish you all the best for your examination and thanks for watching my video and make sure you will share this video to all your friends thank you